Hi children, today we are going to do an experiment regarding the pH. What is pH? pH is the potential of hydrogen in a solution. Okay. We know the neutral pH is 7, 7 is the neutral pH, yes. that means the pH is not acidic or not basic, that condition is what we call neutral and that pH is 7. And what about acidic medium? If an acidic medium is said to be like that, it must be having a pH less than 7. Okay. If the pH is less than 7, it is known as an acidic medium. And then the pH is above 7, it is known as an alkaline medium. If a solution having pH above 7, it is known as an alkaline medium. Okay. By this way, we classify uh, solutions into acidic or basic or neutral. Understood? Today, we are going to do the pH or to, to identify the pH of different water samples. This experiment can be conducted in two ways using a pH paper, we can do this, otherwise using the universal pH indicator, by, by this method also we can do the same ex experiment. Okay. So, for the first one we are doing, we need test tube and test tube stand. Then water samples, this is tap water and this water sample is from the pond, this is pond water. Okay. Then we need the universal pH indicator, then a dropper. So shall we start now? First of all, take a clean test tube, add the water sample, first we are taking pond water here. Add the water sample to the test tube. Okay. Then you can add one or two drops of this universal pH indicator. Add one or two drops of pH indicator into the sample solution. Observe carefully. See the color difference. See the color of pond water changed into green, isn't it? Now just refer the pH values and corresponding color changes. Now we can see the green color represents almost 8 to 9 pH condition, okay. This color represents 8 to 9 pH condition, you can see it here also and just observe the pH color change and the value of pH. So, this color indicate the pH is 8 to 9, understood? Then, now take another test tube, this experiment is done using a pond water, okay. Now take another test tube, clean test tube and add the next water sample that is tap water. Add water to the test tube. And then again add one or two drops of indicator, pH indicator to the tap water. See the difference? Yes. You can see the color change. It is also see green in color but it is light green than the pond water's color that we got. See the difference between the two colors, understood? So the tap, this is uh, conducted on tap water, this experiment is conducted on pond water. So based on this difference, we can say that the pH of tap water and pH of pond water will be different and pH of pond water is 8 or 9 or 8 to 9 ranging and then the pH of tap water is almost 7.5 or 7. We can compare this color change according to the indicator value given, understood? So this is one experiment to identify the pH of different water samples. We can do the same experiment using a pH paper, okay. For that, take a clean slide. Take the sample water, 
take the clean slide and a dropper and now place the pH paper on the tiles ok place the pH paper on the tile clear now take the dropper you can add water sample onto this pH paper and identify or can uh, identify the difference between the what what is happening let us see ok this is pond water drop only one or two drops ok you can add one or two drops on the pH paper this is pond water we are taken see the color change yes it is not that much dark as we have done using the pH indicator but even though it is green in color and take another sample of tap water and do the same thing on another pH paper ok it also shows the green color. So, so today we have conducted the experiment to identify the pH of different water samples we used pond water and tap water for that we done this in two method one using a universal pH indicator and the next one using a pH paper ok uh, in the first one we use this indicator directly into the water taking a test tube and in the second one we drop the water on the pH paper using a dropper. So, now we are familiar with this experiment and hope you all understood. Thank you.